Excellent! Hello everyone and welcome back to Paul's Hardware. Today I have a mysterious black GeForce GTX box sitting here next to me. What could be inside? You probably have no idea given that the title of this video is most likely listed right below me right now. So I'm not fooling anyone. This is the new GeForce GTX 780. Brand new video card based on the GK110 GPU. That's the same GPU that shipped with the GeForce GTX Titan. I'm going to go ahead and give you guys a close-up look as well as go down all of the gritty details and specifications. So let's take a closer look at the 780. And the first thing you're probably going to notice is it's a Titan. Well, it's not really a Titan, but it's very close to a Titan. You'll notice essentially the same design, uh, even the same layout on the PCB. It's, it's really like 99% there. Um, I sort of call it about 85% of a Titan because if you actually look at the number of SMX units, that's uh, streaming multiprocessors, those are kind of the building blocks that make up uh, the Kepler architecture. The Titan has 14 SMX units, that gives it 2,688 uh, CUDA cores. The 780 has 12, or as compared to 14, that gives it a total of 2,304 CUDA cores. So still uh, a ton of processing power here. Uh, so I say 85% when it comes to the GPU, uh, we'll say 50% when it comes to the memory because you do get 3 gigabytes of GDDR5 memory with the 780, that's as compared to the 6 gigabytes that you get with the Titan. You get the same layout, the same cooler, uh, you get the aluminum housing, the polycarbonate window there, uh, you can also see uh, the dual slot aluminum heat sink through there, so you're, you're getting essentially the same cooling solution as well. So you have a, a, a spectacular weighted, spe spectacularly weighted blower style fan. It stays really, uh, really quiet even when it spins up to pretty decent uh, RPMs. Uh, when you get when you get it under an extremely heavy load, it might spin up a lot more than that. But um, in my experience, even when I was running like three or four Titans, it was still staying very, very reasonable when it came to sound uh, as well as temperature. Uh, speaking of temperature, that's another feature you get here is the advantage of GPU Boost 2.0, uh, previously only available on the Titan. So that's kind of going to give you automatic overclocking within a defined temperature target uh, as opposed to a power target that GPU Boost 1.0 used. You also get the ability to overvolt. So uh, that was another feature of the Titan that uh, was very, very nice of them to include. Uh, you get a base clock of 863 and a boost clock of 900 megahertz. Although I'm guessing when you're actually utilizing GPU Boost 2.0, you're actually going to get much higher frequencies than that. The Titan was very easily able to hit and go beyond 1000 megahertz with just a tiny little bit of tweaking. Uh, memory, 6008 megahertz effective memory clock. Uh, 3072 megabytes total. You do also maintain the 384-bit memory interface, so that's going to be extremely helpful uh, if you're running a lot of iCandy in your games, if you're going to be turning on uh, TXAA or, or, or higher-level anti-aliasing effects, tessellation uh, physics, uh, and a, a, a fatter memory pipe is always helpful when it comes to that. Gives you a total memory bandwidth of 288.4 gigabytes per second. We'll, we'll be having some benchmarks over on the New Egg TV YouTube channel, of course, uh, so you can check out those once we actually have them up. Uh, but 1080 or beyond, if you're going to go with the 2560 by 1440, 2560 by 1600, you're going to see really excellent performance out of this. You have 7.1 billion transistors on the GK110. It's seriously just massive and extremely powerful when it comes to a GPU. Uh, beyond that, again, just like the Titan, you get two dual link DVI connection points, one HDMI, one display port. You can still do uh, your triple monitor gaming out of this. You can actually do three plus one displays, so you can have four connected total. It maintains a dual slot design, so of course you do still have uh, two SLI fingers right there, so you can do two way, three way, or four way. I am hoping that we can somehow get four of these so we can kind of duplicate our. Our Titan setup where we were doing four-way Titans because that was a lot of fun. I'd like to see how the 780s perform in that configuration. Power connectors, an uh, 8-pin and a 6-pin. Uh, NVIDIA is recommending a 600-watt power supply for this unit. Uh, TDP stays at 250 watts. Uh, so again, uh, really good power consumption for this device. Uh, so another really cool feature. Uh, again, I want to come back to the, the, the cooler on this because it's it's a really impressive design. design. I like it a lot. you got a copper vapor chamber dual slot aluminum heat sink, blower fan, uh, an actual m metal housing for the uh, entire thing. The blower fan means that um, the hot air is primarily going to be ejected out the back of the case, so it's not really going to be contaminating the uh, heat or temperature for the rest of your internal components in your computer. 
Uh, so yeah, a really good design overall. And uh, oh, I should also mention the green logo on the side when you actually install and plug it in uh, that will glow just like the Titan. And that is just about going to wrap it up for this video, guys. But I know what you're probably thinking. You're thinking, Paul, we want to see benchmarks. Show us benchmarks. And uh, I will. I will very soon, I promise. As of the filming of this video, I really only just had a chance to sort of take it out of the box, get a first look at it. So I'm, I'm kind of in the same boat with you guys. But we will we will be testing this. We will we'll be showing you benchmark comparisons, probably against, like, I'm thinking the 680, probably compare it to the Titan, maybe also compare it to some of the AMD video cards that are uh, that are out there as well. So it should be pretty awesome. So stay tuned to the new Egg TV YouTube channel for that. Of course, if you'd like to see more of my personal videos, you can stay tuned to my channel, which you are watching right now. Don't forget to subscribe. Uh, don't forget to like this video because it's a freaking GTX 780. Damn it. It's awesome. And uh, yeah, I guess that wraps it up. Thanks again, guys, and we'll see you in the next video.